Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Welcome to the live video, well drilling, the fastest way to get water. And we're gonna do two different things here. If you watched one of my other videos, you saw that we jetted a well with the pressure washer. Unfortunately, the guys took my gas pressure washer with them today. Um, they had some jobs to do, but we're gonna use the electric pressure washer. I'll bet you that it can do the same thing. But what we wanna to try to find out is, is the, the pressure washer with the mini jet. Do you remember the mini jet? Sorry. <laughs> this is the mini jet and it hooks onto your pressure washer. It's got a nozzle in the front and jets in the back and it's gonna dig down and of course the, the cuttings, the debris is gonna come back from the jets back up out of the shaft. This worked pretty good, but I think I found a better way and that is to use the mud pump and go from two inch, reducing it down to one inch and it creates so much pressure that it's kind of the same as the mini jetter. But I think we can get down 30, 40 feet in less than 20 minutes, 10 minutes. You're gonna be surprised. But let's get started. We need to dig up, get the area prepped. So we're gonna start with the shovel. And there are some tree roots. If you look behind me, there's tons of tree roots back here. So we need to just get through those roots. Then we can use the post hole diggers to get down a little deeper. Yeah, you hear that? That's root. There's a lot of them down here. But we'll cut through those. I want to get as deep as I can with my shovel and then start the post hole diggers. And you can see this is pretty dry soil. Hopefully we can get down to that water table <clears throat> and get us a well. This only takes a few minutes and we'll start those post hole diggers. Okay, let me adjust that camera. That should be good. So we always want to dig as deep as we can with our hand tools. Post hole diggers, they work the absolute best. I'm hitting a layer of peat moss right now and it is pretty hard. There's still some tree roots down here. I'll show you here in a second. Yeah, can you hear it hitting? It's almost like concrete. We'll get it. I don't know if you can see the difference. You see this is peat moss. You see how much darker it is.
Can you see this? You see how dark that is? This is peat moss. And it's got some moisture in it, but not much. Let's take a look at the hole. Pretty deep. Can't really focus in there, but <laughs> you can really see it. We're down about four feet, maybe five. So let me get some material and we'll be right back. So this is 10 feet of three inch pipe. I made a drill bit on the bottom of it. We're gonna use the three inch instead of the four to start our shaft. I'll sink this down here. Perfect. Some more material. So what I have is a three inch T and we'll be able to put this on the top of that pipe if it's getting stuck and we can twist it back and forth and those teeth will dig down through that peat moss. We're gonna try the jetter first, just to see. I have to set up the ladder. Sorry, I'm all by myself, except for the camera operator. Um, all by myself, we're using OBS, and it's kind of new to us, so I hope we get this right. Couple more things. So with the teeth on the bottom of this, this is a 10 foot section of three inch. We should be able to drive this down using the pressure washer and the mini jet. And what we'll do is, if it gets too, too hard with the, with, by just jetting it, we can put this on the top and we can twist it back and forth. We should be able to drive that down deeper. But we're gonna try the mini jetter first just to see if it works um, like I say I, I know it will but it might take it a little while I think that the mud pump is gonna do it it's gonna do it quick So like I said, so like I said, the, the boys took the gas powered pressure washer. This one's got 1600 PSI. You know, the gas powered one's more like 3500, 4000 PSI, a lot more powerful. But let's try it, see what it does.
Okay, you can see it's going down, but it's really slow, right? That jetter, it does work. We're digging down, it's getting, the jet actually goes under the pipe and turns and gets stuck, so you see me yanking on it. <laughs> but let me set up the mud pump and give that a try. On the mud pump, I did cut some teeth in this one inch pipe just in case. Okay, let me uh, clean up a little bit here, move some of the stuff out of the way, and we're gonna fire up that mud pump. I just need to move a few things around, get them out of the way here. We might do this again, but let's see. Okay, I'm also going to reposition this camera because the uh, outlet hose might knock it over. So let me reposition that real quick. That should work. Now I'm gonna prime the pump and get a few other things together. We'll be ready to go. So if you're just joining us live, we are drilling a well and the fastest way Yes, there is some prep work, so there was some work here to get started here on the shaft. We were using the mini jetter, and now we're going to use the pressure washer. We're going to go from 2 inch and reduce that down to 1 inch, and that should dig down where I can sink this first shaft down 10 feet, and then we'll go from there. But I hope you join in, tune in, we're live. <laughs> Let's get started some more. Okay, again, if you're just joining in, I apologize. You know, it's just me and the camera operator, but I got to turn on all the cameras. We're using OBS. Welcome to our live drill. Let's go ahead and start this pressure washer.
Okay, that came down pretty quick. Let me take a quick break. We'll be right back. Not bad. Looking good. <laughs> So what happens is that that so much pressure came out of that mud pump, we reduced it down to one inch. And I mean, I actually pushed pushed that pipe down there almost 30 or yeah, almost 30 feet, um, and it just blew all the sand out. And then, real simple, I mean, I can sink it down. I mean, I can probably drop the whole thing. In fact, let's go ahead and put another coupling on there. I'm going to put I'm going to put the pipe wrench on here so it doesn't drop when I try to glue it together. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Live. <laughs> Go ahead and glue up another coupling. All right. Okay. Now let's put another 10 foot feet on here and see if we can push it all the way down 20 feet. I don't know. Okay, so we're, bot we're bottoming out. I guess that'll be about 13 feet right there. And I'm gonna kick on the, the mud pump again, see if we can't sink this shaft down, just like we did that one. That one went down pretty good. I guess it's still going down. <laughs> but what's happening is, of course, it's collapsing down there where I was down 20 feet. You know, it's just collapsing. But it's still digging. Nice. But you know, honestly, that only took five minutes to do all of this <laughs> with the mud pump. The mini jetter, if I, if I had the big pressure washer, maybe 30, 40 minutes, but five, six minutes to get to here, that's amazing. Let me uh, fire up that pump again.
sorry for the delays, but it's just me and the camera, guys. <laughs> but we'll get there. So, again, if you're just joining us, I'm Chuck with Apple Drains. We are drainage contractors, and we are putting in a well live to show you how quick we can actually do that. And you can do this too. This is something you guys can do. Not hard to do. If you've got a mud pump, that's probably the big thing. So they're about what? 250 bucks for a two inch mud pump. You can sink a well. Um, all the other parts we'll go over later, but let's keep working. Okay, before I go any farther, this is the well point, and I'll show you the well point in a second, but we're going to go ahead and glue up 20 feet of the suction hose. This is one inch pipe. We're going to glue that on here so that after I sink this shaft, then I'm ready to put this guy down in there. So let's go ahead and do that. I've already built this well point. We've got about eight feet of inlet, remember the water is going to be all around the outside of that pipe and so we can easily collect that with the suction from the pump and I've just got an old pump I'm going to use but we're ready to sink this down nearly 30 feet when we're ready and I think that's going to be more than enough we just need to get that pipe down that's 20 feet and then we can sink this down we just need to get this below the three inch. Remember, we're going to try to get down 20 feet. So, we're almost ready. <laughs> and if you're just joining us, you know, hey, what we're doing is we're drilling a well and trying to show everybody how easy this really is. I'm Chuck with Apple Drains, and we're going to fire up the mud pump and drill a well that quick. So, let's get started again. Okay, let's move this out of the way for a second. And we're just about ready to fire up that mud pump again. And you can see where we're at. We need to go down about five feet and then we're ready to sink the actual suction pipe up to, to the pump. I mean, we're almost there. It's only been, what, 10 minutes, not even that, eight minutes of actual jetting time and uh, probably another three, four minutes, we should be done. Okay, let's go ahead and put this jet down in here. Remember that's coming from the mud pump, two inch reducing to one. We've got 40 feet of one inch pipe. Let's put that down into our three inch shaft. Probably gonna need the ladder, huh? Yeah, I'm ready to get up on the ladder. Hold on. What I'm going to do is push this down to the bottom, then we'll start the pump. Okay, 
Okay. I think we're ready. <laughs> Let's start up this mud pump. Have to open the water up. I'm also going to put my pipe wrench here, just in case, and maybe this T. Because I don't want to lose this pipe. Let's fire this up.
tire. don't want to hit my camera. <laughs> it might. Yeah. But that's all right. Let me make sure we're still focused. Yeah, we're looking good. Let's see if it'll drop a little bit more. Okay, I think I'm good. That's almost 20 feet. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off and then we're gonna do it again and sink this down, quickly pull it out and sink in our suction, our well point. Give me a minute. I apologize for the delays. Um, we'll probably put some little features in there during the delays. I'm not sure, but um, anyways, if you're just joining us, this is Chuck with Apple Drains. We are live and we're sinking a well down. And right now we're almost 20 feet. We're using a mud pump from two inch to one inch. We're reducing that outlet to one inch and it creates tremendous pressure. So I stopped here. I thought I was gonna cut it off, but if I push on this, you can see I can still go down. So it's really soft down there, which is great. I don't know if you heard that, but it's really soft down there. That's great. And um, I can actually pull it back up, and go down more. So we're almost 20 feet. Yeah, looking good. So that's 20 feet of three inch pipe that I sunk down using that mud pump. I mean, it works really good. Sorry, I just realized <laughs> I'm pretty dirty. <laughs> but um, let me put some more things together here. And I'm gonna take a little break. And um, when we come back, we'll finish jetting this. And what we're going to do is we're gonna use that same one inch pipe. That's 40 feet connected to the discharge of the mud pump. I'm going to take this tee off and we're going to jet that down 40 feet. Once we're down 40 feet, we'll quickly pull that pipe out and we'll install the well point. It'll go straight down into the ground, I hope, unless it collapses. We have to do it pretty quick. But again, such a quick project to do. You need a mud pump. done with this ladder I hope
and we just need a few things and we're ready to start jetting again. Let me reset this uh, well pump digger, the jetter. We reset it. So remember, on the bottom of this one inch pipe, this is schedule 40 PVC, and it's one inch. And I cut some teeth down here also, just in case we need to twist and drill, but so far I haven't had to use that at all. And um, what we're gonna do is fire up the mud pump. I'm gonna pull this T off of here, fire up the mud pump, and we're gonna sink this down. There is 40 feet of one inch pipe here. If I can jet that all the way down, let it flush out, quickly pull this out, and then push, push our well point down in. If we can get it down uh, 30 feet, we're gonna be in great shape. We're down into the water, and we'll have, remember what the well, what the well point is, it has little holes all around that pipe, and it's, you know, it's down in the water table. So when you kick on the pump, it sucks that water through those holes, and up to your pump, and you have water. So we're almost ready. Hold on. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can get this T off of here. Good, cut that off. Got a nice shaft. Let me move this out of the way in case it overflows. to go ahead and start jetting one inch pipe you know they make a, they make hoop houses you saw the hoop house out of this one inch material so not too worried about it breaking or anything when I bend it we're gonna push it all the way down to the bottom should be down there about 20 feet there it is that's the bottom right there Okay, we're gonna fire up the mud pump, open up the water, fire up the mud pump. We're gonna sink this down another 20 feet, and then we're gonna quickly install this well point. Let's do it. Water is on. Starting the mud pump.
going to leak. But that's okay. I've got another hose if we need to use it. But let's just see. Let's get this out. That's good. <laughs> now, if everything's good, we should be able to push this down in there. Ah, oh, we'll have to start over. <laughs> That's terrible. Take a break. We'll start over again. <laughs> Sorry, I lost the camera there for a second. But what I'm going to do, put this down in here, and then we'll clamp it off so we don't lose it. And then we'll put that 20 feet on there. Hey, things happen, right? Okay. Now I'm just going to glue this piece on. Or try, anyways. Be nice to have an extra hand, right? hard to do with one hand. I might have waited too long. Nice. Very nice. We lock it down. <laughs> Live. <laughs> what can you do? There we go. Okay. Woo. <laughs> Live. <laughs> All right. Let me go get the pump. And we'll see if we can get water up out of here. Pretty sure we can. But let's get that pump and try it out. So let me brace this up a little bit, and then we just need to make a little connection right here, down into the pipe, we can plug it in, we're almost there, let me grab some pipe.
Sorry, I had to shut off the uh, drone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry to take another short break. Got to find some parts here real quick, and then we'll come back to this. Meantime, this is Chuck with Apple Drains. We are live and hooked up this, we're gonna hook up this pump to a well that we just jetted using the mud pump and a one inch, we, re, we reduced from two inch to one inch, created tons of pressure. You can see all that water just shooting up out of there. It's digging a hole. We could easily push down the pipe and we're ready to go. But take a little break here and let me dry off. <laughs> I'm really sweating, so just hang in there. So now, now we just need a measurement from here to here, and uh, probably could just use these. Yeah, that'll work. Let's cut this all the way off to that spot, like it goes on the two. If I cut it long, that'll be even better. Perfect. Clean this out, and we are ready to plumb the rest of this. So I'm going to put this piece on first. And then we'll lift it up and slide it down into the other piece. Perfect fit. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right. Now we need to plumb this. We need to plumb this uh, pump. I mean, we. <laughs> you can tell I'm excited. It's live. We need to prime this pump, and I'm going to do that right now. Hold on. Get this hose right here. Of course, it's wrapped around my camera, so hang in there. There we go. We're still recording. We are. We're still live. <laughs> Should be able to just tilt it 
and fill it up. Remember, it has to fill up that one inch pipe down 40 feet or 30, whatever it is, 35 feet, 30 feet. Fill that up. Looking good. Let's close it off. And take these vice grips off. And we're going to plug it in. Make sure everything still works. This is an old pump. It's a really old pump, but you can kind of see it. Building up some pressure. We'll let it build up till it shuts off. Won't take long, I promise. <laughs> Still priming. There we go. Building up good, almost 30 pounds. If we're successful, if we're successful and we're down there into the water table, we should start to get a flow right out of here. Looking good. Pulling out the mud. Pulling out the mud. Yeah. Look at that. So it needs to clean up a little bit. So we'll let it run. So Right now, what it's doing, you know, when I was jetting it, and I shoved it down into that sand down there, into that pocket of water, all of that sand kind of got pushed back into the well point. So it's going to clean up. I'm going to let it build up some more pressure. Yeah. Hopefully you can hear me over top of the pump. I'll let it shut off here. Okay, so again, if you're just joining in, I mean, we're at the end of this video, but um, if you're just joining in, I'm Chuck with Apple Drains, and we have been jetting a shallow well. And what we use, instead of using the mini jetter or trying to twist and twist and twist and get that pipe to go down there, or a jackhammer, uh, where all these different videos showing you all these different things. And I truly did this. Yes, I know the live portion, there's a lot to do all by yourself, you know, and move things around, it, whatever it is, an hour and a half, two hours, I don't know. Um, but the actual jetting time, <laughs> that was something that was amazing. I mean, it's less than 10 minutes and we hit water. Even with the breaking of the uh, well point, if you saw that, that broke off and we had to readjust it, it still got down into the water and look at this. Look at that. We have great water. Looking so good. Should, so the pump should kick on here any second. There it goes. Picks back up. No smell. It's perfect. I'm going to let it run. So I'm just going to let that run while I put some things away.
What do you think? Was that the fastest you could ever drill a well? And you know, you could do this in the clay. Granted, I'm in the sand, but you saw me. I got stuck there in that uh, peat moss and there was a layer of clay where I really did have to kind of twist and pound. But as soon as I hooked up that mud pump and got the pressure through the one inch pipe on the outlet, I dug right down through there. We were able to sink that uh, three inch pipe, three inch pipe <laughs> all the way down. That could be our well casing. We could actually pull this pipe out and put another two inch well point down there and then put the one inch inside of that and have a casing. But I, I'm not worried about that because I know that this will last a long, long time. Um, this is how we dig shallow wells here in the south. We're not too concerned about the casing. And again, this is just water for the greenhouse. That's all it is. So we're doing great. Let's kick this back on. So I hope you enjoyed the broadcast. If you have any questions, put them in the comments box and I'll be happy to answer them. Of course, I couldn't look at any of the live chat that goes on. I might disable that. I can't remember, but <laughs> definitely if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer all the questions, go over the material list. And, and then after this video, look for the uh, replay because on the replay, I'll put together a short, short version of that and show you all the materials, all the parts, how much it costs to do this, including a pump. That's a used pump, but it still works great. But you can get a brand new pump and it would do even better. But, I mean, you can see it's just gonna keep working. Um, hey, this is Chuck with Apple Trains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.